the citizens of Ashdale have disappeared, and as the work of a hero is never done, who better to get them out of a sticky situation? This week, Mods Goya and Stu talk bosses, environments, and visual storytelling. And make sure you keep watching for your chance to win one of these limited edition t-shirts. So one of the things that makes this quest different uh, is that we've tried more visual storytelling. Um, so that's less reliance on, on text, on dialogue, more the environment telling a story and as you sort of explore the environment and go through that quest, the kind of the story reveals itself to you. It's not just in words. So as an example of visual storytelling, the player walks into a room and we will use the camera to pan over to their destination and use that as a form of guidance rather than having a character in the room telling them how to solve a puzzle. It's a different kind of experience and it's something I don't think we've done a lot in RuneScape and I really wanted to, to try out. So this other quest, um, contact has been lost with Ashdale. Obviously this is like worried Gudric um, and he wants someone to go in the island and, and sort of check it out, see what's going on, see why contact has been lost. When you return to Ashdale, the environment is very different. The tutorial has a, a light and idyllic fishing village atmosphere. During the quest, it's raining, it's stormy. There's a sense of an underlying threat hanging in the shadows. We realised we wanted to go back to the Ashdale area. Um, what we can do inside of our tools, we can basically change lots of things and what we wanted to do is um, make it a bit more foreboding for a new player. So they're coming back to, a, to an area that is familiar, but it's got a different take on it and you're seeing a, a, an old area in, in a different light. In addition to returning to the surface of Ashdale, there'll be some new environments hidden away within the depths. It, it all starts talking to the designers and the concept artists. Um, we decide what the player needs to do in the area, um, where they need to go, what they need to be thinking, and then it's a collaboration between the designers in terms of what must happen for a, for a player and also the concept artist. They'll come to us with artwork for what the area should look like and then it, it's our job as environment artists to try and bring it all together. So as you uh, explore the, uh, the environment in the quest and as you sort of progress through the story, you're going to sort of see more of Ashdale and see more of the environment. You'll see all these kind of interesting kind of visual clues and uh, things that have been left behind by others that will slowly sort of uh, slowly piece the story together. We've created a new enemy for this quest. We won't go into too much detail in order to keep it mysterious, but they're using a new texturing process that we have to make them look highly detailed, menacing, scuttling around in an evil sort of fashion. They are something which is um, uh, very ancient and very evil, and they've got their own kind of very specific goal, and that's something that as a player you'll be trying to prevent in the quest. This is quite a combat heavy quest, there's an escalation of fighting during the course of it and it'll conclude with a boss fight. The boss looks really awesome, it's on a massive scale. There's a lot of elements to designing a boss battle um, and that includes like you've got to think about what kind of moves would this type of enemy do, um, what the mechanics you want are, so what effects those moves will do, um, and then sort of the environment as well. Um, what space you're working with the encounter and then you've got to think about the difficulty and bring all those things together to make a fun boss fight. It's definitely more than players are used to at the end of a quest, it's more akin to sort of a repeatable boss encounter you might have. It's really big, it's really visually impressive and we can't wait for everyone to see it. So the new quest features obviously new enemies, a uh, new boss fight at the end which is really cool. Something I'm particularly excited about is all the sort of visual storytelling we've done with it, so the kind of cool, exciting environments we've created for the quest. And there's a mystery, who doesn't love a good mystery? So you get to kind of explore and find out what's happened to the people of Ashdale. It's find the frame time again. Just watch through this episode and find the image that doesn't belong. Pop an email over to RuneScape videos at jagex.com and tell us what you saw and where you saw it for your chance to win a limited edition Team Cabbage or Team Gorilla t-shirt. Last week's winners are Project 9, Mac Lovelace and Pants You on Head. So a t-shirt is on its way to you now. 